greetings in this in this video we learn how to create a circular tank in using strat pro connect edition physical modeler latest version and uh, this is the tank model which i'm going to create with the base lab and the left side you can see the physical model on the right side you can see the analytical model the same thing can be done in the older versions of strat pro using the modeler but using the physical modeler uh, it becomes uh, much easier to create so let's get started <coughs> so here is the first screen of step pro connect edition uh, for this example you can use even the standard version of uh, step pro connect edition advanced is uh, really not required for this example <coughs> so I start with the new one and uh, just uh, select the right folder <coughs> and uh, give the sample file name and choose the type of uh, GUI graphical interface. For this example, I'm going to use a physical model. Okay, click the create button. <coughs> And this is the first screen of uh, the Stamp Pro physical model. I start with the grid and uh, I'm going to create a simple grid. And, uh, since the physical modeler does not have a template or a structure wizard for creating circular objects, <coughs> I'm going to create the circular objects by using the circular copy command. Okay, for that, I just create a, a simple uh, 10 meter member. Then uh, I'm going to rotate this member <coughs> about the global y axis and uh, pivot point I'm going to be 5 meter, assuming that the circular tank radius is 5 meter and uh, revolution is going to be 360 degrees. And while revolving, I'm going to create 36 copies of this uh, member. And there is an option for even creating helical uh, circular models which we are going to not not going to use today <coughs> so I just here create a circular frame okay but we need to create surface okay. so since there is no circular objects in uh, the physical modeler I use the frame first and then now I'm going to create a surface uh, just one surface and then I'm going to circular repeat the top zone So now I'm going to delete the uh, frame members because the purpose of the frame members is just to guide me in creating this uh, simple uh, uh, strip of the plate. Okay, notice that it is not parallel to any global axis, so we need to get this angle. Okay, that is the reason why I use this uh, frame. Okay, so now I unselect everything, <coughs> go to the spreadsheet, and I'm going to select all the members. I'm going to hit the delete key. Same way, I'm going to delete the nodes as well. Okay. Using the spreadsheet and data command, I'm going to delete the nodes. Okay. Note that uh, the nodes that are used by the surfaces, uh, surface is not getting deleted. Okay, so now that I get uh, one strip of this 10 meter high uh, plate, I'm going to repeat it circularly, copy it circularly using the circular copy command. We're using the same options. <coughs> Link steps is may not be required for this. Okay, and the fiber point is 5 meter away from the origin. This is the origin here. And the angle in degrees is 360 degree. And the number of copies is 36. Okay, that's okay. Now we got the circular tank quickly. And now to model the base uh, slab, all I need to do is just use the surface command and manually uh, click on these points. of physical model is a, is a real uh, 3d model so i can use my mouse to rotate uh, to see it clearly Okay, 
because you know the origin. So here we created our uh, physical slab, base slab. Okay. Uh, if we did any mistake uh, while modeling this, we can very easily rectify that using the spreadsheet surfaces. Okay. So here you see this uh, surface number thirty-seven. Can select this uh, surface. And uh, here you can see the board numbers. Okay. So you can see the name of it. So you can manually change it if you have any mistakes. Okay. <coughs> now that we have created our uh, circular tank quickly using the physical modeler. I'm going to show you how to apply the supports, okay, the spring supports. So I just choose the, uh, the base lab, okay, and I'm going to use the matte foundation option and uh, specify the direction, separate modelers. For this example, I'm going to use 20,000 kilonewton per meter cube as the upgrade modelers and I'm going to specify the compression of this preset program automatically will generate the spring supports for all the uh, mat, uh, the, the base lab. Okay, so we have finished the modeling. All I need to do is just click on this analysis model to do the meshing. Uh, here is our uh, mesh. By default, uh, the node-to-node -node distance will be one meter. Uh, we set it in the file options. So here, one meter. So if you want to refine the mesh, you can play with these parameters. Okay, we are finished. Okay, so now I can go to the model and return to analytical modeling to move my model from the physical model into the analytical model. <coughs> you can see at the bottom there are some messages about thickness. We, are, we didn't specify the thickness. We can do that in the analytical model or physical model. But I'll show you how to do that in the physical model. Okay, so just put a window to select the, all the plates and the surface and specify the material. And say for the euro concrete, so we use uh, C30. Okay, that's it. We finish the material and the thickness. We're going to use uh, 0.4 meter, or say 0 0.3 meter finish the specific thickness also. So now we can view the rendered view okay, of the circular water tank, concrete circular water tank. And now click on the analysis model there, I got the finite element model. Okay, this plate elements. Let's see the stitching between the slab and the vertical walls, it's all perfect. The same thing if you want to do it in the analytical modeler, we have to use the structure wizard to create the horizontal cylinder first, I mean the vertical cylinder first and then uh, create the bottom uh, plate also in structure wizard and then connect it. While connecting, we have to be careful about the stretching, so we have to use the equal divisions for both the base slab and the uh, vertical uh, wall. Okay. Whereas in the, in the physical modeler, uh, this becomes easier. Okay. So I now return to the analytical model. Now that we have specified the material and uh, property information in the physical modeler, there's no more messages uh, in the bottom window. So now we are in the analytical modeler. You can see the spring supports and the base slab, they are automatically generated. Now uh, if to apply the loads, uh, you can see that uh, these add buttons are disabled. The reason is because we have started the modeling in the physical modeler. Uh, and, uh, since uh, we started the modeling in physical modeler, uh, the loading also can be done directly in the physical modeler. For example, here you can see the surface uh, uh, loads, pressure loads, point loads. But uh, for a water tank, the loads has to be uh, varying from top to bottom. So it should be a hydrostatic trapezoidal load which we use it in the uh, analytical modeler which is yet to be available in the physical model. Eventually it will be available at some point of time but right now we do not have it. We just have a, a, a constant pressure load only on global and local axis. 
the, which is not good enough for my uh, what a time design. Okay, so for that reason, I am going to use the analytical modeler to uh, apply the loading. So, in order for applying the load in the analytical modeler, I need to break the link between the physical and analytical modeler. Then only I'll be able to uh, do anything in the uh, analytical modeler. Right now, you can see I can't edit even the geometry. I can't uh, uh, even uh, refine the mesh. Okay. See here, the generate mesh button is disabled. Okay, this is reason is because um, this model came in from the physical model. Even the loads I cannot add here. Okay, so I need to use the utilities draw physical model command to break the relationship between the physical model and continue applying the loads or refining the mesh in the analytical model. But uh, if you want to enjoy the benefits of both physical and analytical model, I suggest you to retain the physical model as long as possible okay so since now i decided to drop the physical model but at the same time i want to retain the uh, uh, physical model what i'm going to do now is to save this file and using another file say for example uh, sample one okay and now with this sample one i'm going to drop the physical model now we can see the loading so i can add so I can then use the hydrostatic trapezoidal load, uh, self-rate command, okay, rate load, hydrostatic trapezoidal load to easily create my water, uh, water load which is uh, very. Okay, so uh, now you are seeing how I created the circular water tank very quickly using the physical model. Application of load uh, is all same like the older versions of Shanto. Thank you. Bye.